Monkey. Hello guys, and in today's video we're going to be talking about Grim Giles' character and um, how he got to the point where he is uh, in the at the end of the Hueco Mundo. Nothing afterwards. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, be sure to like this video, subscribe, uh, share this video with the rest of your village. We're going to be talking about Grim Giles and how wild this dude is and how, and how his downfall was pretty much inevitable as a character. So, um... Grim Jow's whole thing at the start of his introduction was just disrespectful and asshole behavior towards people around him. Aizen, he'll fall in line. Everybody else, he'll just act cold towards. And that's when I got the attention of him. I was like, oh shit, well, this dude, what's wrong with this nigga? Why is he acting up like this? What's happening? Um... Ulkiora was tasked with the mission of like, okay, your responsibility to Ichigo... Grimjaw was getting mad at that because he's like, nigga, he, he didn't even, like, kill this nigga he was supposed to. So, Grimjaw literally just left and did his own thing and went to go fight Ichigo. First mistake. So, when he went there to fight Ichigo, he stabbed Rukia with his hand. They got into their clashes. It was a it was a, a really, like, crazy battle between them. The boxing was happening. Ooh! Grimjaw going crazy. Ichigo, protagonist powers, gets a good ten show slices this dude through like his with his hand and his chest like just slashed and um yeah grimjaw was gonna keep fighting but um he stopped there he's like oh what's up and then after that who stopped him was tosin tosin stopped him tosin said you already know what it is nigga you didn't follow orders nigga we gotta go back then like while he was going back each goes like why I want to keep fighting. Why are you leaving? It's like, bro, nigga, Tosin just saved you, bro. You're weak as fuck, bro. Sit in your corner, nigga. The name's Grim Jow, whatever the last name. And number six, find my ass after. I was going to do my fucking, like, power boost shit, but ugh, I got stopped, nigga. So you wouldn't even handle that anyways. Yeah, just a bunch of talking shit, you know what I'm saying? So when we get to Hueco Mundo, Aizen's not even mad. Tosin's the one who's mad. Tosin was fibbing. But, uh, Aizen wasn't, like, really feeling nothing. So, Tosin, like, slashed this dude's arm off, then burned his arm with a huddle. And, um, Grimjaw was about to fight him. Aizen put his ass in his place. He said, fight him and you die. Bro, and that that's the start for it. Because Grimjaw always wants to put himself up as superior. But there's always people who are putting him down and calling him, you're garbage. Sit your ass down. Like, you're, you fucking little hollow, a wrong car, bitch. Like that's, that's how they, that's how they looked at Grimjaw. And that's my, that's the first, like, thought that came to my mind. I'm like, D bro, bro, Grimjaw's being treated like a bitch right now. Bro, what, what happened to the last one? He looked so cool in battle. Bro, that's when I knew, pecking order-wise, even if he thinks of himself as the strongest, there's always people who put him down. That's just a fact. So, when we get to, um... The next fight with them and Ichigo because there were circumstances at hand when it came to like getting to that fight. When they started fighting, Ichigo had his hollow mask like like put on, and each and then Grimjaw's like, "What the fuck is that? What is that? What is that?" You know what I mean? And then they just start fighting. They start fighting. Next time we see this dude, this dude bloodied the fuck up, hurt as a bitch. They keep clashing though. Grimjaw's not backing out of the fight. He keeps going. He keeps going. He keeps going. And um. When you see him keep going, you're like, oh shit, well, what's happening? This is, this is wild. This is a wild ass fight. People are getting cut up, everything. Everyone's having their own individual battles. But, um, Ichigo loses the hollow mask. And then after Grimjaw sees that as an opportunity and goes after him. Later on in the fight, Shinji stops them. He gets into a fight with Shinji. Shinji's like, nigga, who are you? Um, then later on, we see Ukiora coming to the scene, and Ukiora saves all of them because it's like, nigga, you guys are weak. Look, you see this? You see this? Grimjaw gets taken away from the fight again. 
Grimshaw wanted to get into the fight and keep doing the fight, and then he gets taken away again. That's the crazy thing. Grimshaw's wild, like, in terms of, like, he doesn't give a fuck about authority and a lot of other things, but if you're being honest, he, he just wants to get into, he just has that ferocious instinct to get into battle. That's just his whole being as a, as a character. So, when you see this type of stuff, it's like, damn, bro, Grimjow, you're getting bitched over and over and over. You keep, like, being disrespectful in all these things, but that's not coming to your benefit, my guy. You gotta, you gotta do something else. But then, I mean, later on in the manga or, or like, the anime, we already know, like, that's not how it really goes. So, when, when Grimjow gets brought back to Hueco Mundo, Orihime is there. I'm not gonna talk about that. You can watch the anime for yourself. Uh, but, um, when Orihime is there, Aizen's like, okay, bitch, um, are, heal this nigga's arm, and that's that, she did that, and then Grimjaw got his whole arm back, and he's like, oh my god, Grimjaw just shit talking all the time, and then he's like, bro, man, do my number six number, bro, I was getting bitch talked by this one fucking nigga who took my place, give me my six number back, because Garan cars all have numbers, and then his got scratched off because he, he didn't follow orders. So he's like, put my number six number back. Then he killed that fucking replacement. Killed that nigga. Laughed, was laughing. Ah, going crazy. And then after that, that's when I knew, bro, Grimjaw's wild. Grimjaw's wild. He literally could have just sla bitch slapped that nigga. He killed that nigga. That nigga's wild. His own homie. <laughs> so that's the first time when I knew, bro, Grimjaw ain't playing around. The next time I think we see around that time was like, okay. Um, they're all at the table. Grimjaw's there too. Aizen's coming in because there's about to be a meeting. They start talking about like how Ichigo and them just came in. Um, and then the minute he hears Ichigo, Grimjaw's dick just shots up. And now he's like, oh my god, I gotta fight Ichigo now. Then when he goes to fight Ichigo, Tosin's like, okay, sit down, nigga. He's like, no, nah, nigga, this is for Aizen. Aizen wants Ichigo dead, right? So I'm gonna go kill his ass. And then after that, Aizen's like, come on, bro, sit down, bro. He doesn't say nothing. Like, that's what Grimjaw, he doesn't say nothing. And that, that, I was like, nigga, what? Bro, you better pay attention, nigga! Fuck it, like, and then I fucking spiritual pressure. Put this nigga on his knees, bro. And then after that, like, I was like, you ain't gotta worry, niggas. I'll, I'm here. Fucking all might out here. And then after that, it's like, bro, Grimjaw's keep getting bitched, man. Grimjaw just wanna be ferocious. Grimjaw just wanna do his own thing, you know? But people keep putting him down. And I keep seeing that throughout the anime. And it's like, damn, bro. People keep putting my nigga Grimjaw down. So, when we get to, like, the next thing with Grimjaw, it's mostly like, okay, Orihime is getting bitch slapped and fucked up by these two people who are, like, losers. Like, I hate those two characters. Losers. So, Grimjaw beat fucking curb stomp. Eesh! Not curb stomp, but, like, kick the shit out this bitch so hard with his knee. Then after that, goes after the other girl, vaporizes her. Then after that, we see him, like, uh, fucking rip off the girl's leg, blood everywhere, then kill her. And then the Orihime, like, saves those two, like, with her powers, anyways. But, um, Grimjaw's like, okay, this bitch, like, she saves him afterwards, I think. But, like, he's like, uh, or before, I forgot which one it was. But he, he grabs her, he's like this, I don't owe nobody debts no more, nigga, but you gonna do something for me. And then he just grabs her, and then the next scene we see... Ichigo's is lying down because he's fucking dead. Because Okiora killed his ass. I, th I think that's how it went. Okiora killed his ass. And then Grimjaw's like, heal this nigga. I want to fight this nigga, man. Nell's scared. <laughs> Grimjaw's like, shut the fuck up, bitch. And after that, like, oh, shit. And then Nell just stops talking. He's like, nigga, I want this dude as my opponent. You better heal this motherfucker. Okiora comes out of nowhere. He's like, bro, Grimjaw, you fucking... Are you serious, dog? Like, Grimjaw just mad, bro. He's like, and then Ukiyo's like, man, this is my prey. Then you bring Orihime out here. I'm supposed to be the one watching her. Bro, what are you, what is you doing? And then after that, Grimjaw, like, fucking, like, just, it's like, bro, we're about to fight. And then Grimjaw goes after this nigga. They start getting into their own clashes and meshes of, like, talking back and forth towards each other. Then Grimjaw fucking traps this dude in, like, I forgot what it was called, but I'll put it on screen. But, bro, this dude's wild. So... When you see this, it's like, bro, he doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't care. All he cares about is the battle and the prospect of losing is something that's fucking with his brain. So then he has to keep coming at people. Keep coming at people who, like, ever try to put him down as non-superior. 
That's when I knew this nigga has like this, an ego that's wild and he's super fucking prideful. But it, it's it's actually wild to me how prideful this man is. I mean, there's a lot of other prideful characters, but this nigga really out here. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, damn, bro. Gumjaw's Gumjaw's about to fight Ichigo, bro. Ichigo gets is like Ichigo's still like kind of fucked up. He tells Orihime, bitch, who is that? Then Ichigo's like, okay, nigga, stop, stop right there. Stop right there, bitch. Then we get into the fight with Ichigo and, like, Grimjow. These verbal meshes keep going back and forth. And Grimjow's like, why did you come here, nigga? Why did you come here? Fucking mic dropped. Why did you come here, nigga? Why did you come here? That was that was the thought. It's like, why did you come here? Did you come here for battle? What did you come here for? And he's like, nigga, you didn't come here for Orihime. You knew you liked the battle, don't you? He's just fucking... He's just gaslighting. <laughs> Bro, Grimjow was just gaslighting this man. Like, saying, like, this nigga, you came here for battle, didn't you? So, bruh, like, after that, they got into their fight. They got into their stuff. Ichigo does hollow mask. They keep fighting. Grimjow's getting fucked up. He keeps doing his verbal mesh towards Ichigo and everything. Grimjow's, like, not having it. Then he does his recession, whatever, and turns into that panther shit. shit. Then we get into his backstory, and then we just realize this dude was just really out here. All he wanted to be, to be is strong, even as like a regular like hollow type character. You know what I mean? People were following him later on. Those were the other Aron cars who were like bitch maids. Um, but when you see Grimjow, it's like, oh shit, Grimjow! Like, damn, bro, this is just who you are. Like, I I can't even like say you didn't change as a. This is just who you are. People view you as the king. Because you, you can fucking, like, go up there in the world as a, as a character. He can keep getting stronger. So, when he sees this nigga getting... He sees him getting bitch-made by Ichigo. He gets fucking... He's seething through the mouth. He's like, nigga, are you serious? Bro, this dude gets... Bro, Grimjog... Man, he gets fucked up, bro. He, he gets fucked up. Because, like, Ichigo is the main character. So, he has to get fucked up. So, um... Grimjow gets gets contentioed. All the type of stuff start happening to him. He gets he sliced up. He power loss. The, he still wants to fight Ichigo, but Ichigo's like, bro, I'll leave you alone, man. I don't want to fight somebody who's not gonna have the ability to fight anymore. If you're not dead and you still want to fight, but you don't even have the ability to fight anymore, just I'll just leave it alone. I don't want to like fuck you up like that. The next scene, Noi Tora comes in, cleaves this nigga. Doesn't kill him, but cleaves him. Ichigo sees that she gets mad as fuck and tries to protect him. And then after that, they get into the fight with Noitora. That was the end of Grimjow's whole thing. So, what what is, like, this whole video, like, the whole thing about it is like, okay, Grimjow, he's an arrogant person, but that's how he was from the fucking beginning as a character. He, anyone who views him as, like, under him, he really hates that shit. If someone's stronger than him, he can't do anything about it. But when he loses, he feels like he's trash. Like he's less garbage. He keeps viewing himself as stronger than everybody else, even though people are stronger than him. But he still says, I'm the strongest and all this type of stuff. It's crazy to me. It is crazy. So that's all I really wanted to talk about Grimjaw for. Because, man, Grimjaw, wild character, man. Very wild character. And, um, yeah. That's all I really wanted to say for this video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below whatever you think about this video. Um, I, I, this video is going to be a bitch to edit, but I'm going to do it for you guys. So, thank you so much for watching until the end if you did. And, um, yeah. Share this video with the rest of your village. I'm gone. Bye.